Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, Kylian Mbappe's role at Real Madrid has already been decided in terms of positioning on the pitch as the player is ready for the challenge, according to the recent report which emerged from the Spanish capital. We are going to be bringing you a full update on that in this episode as we progress and then shortly after that we will quickly turn our attention to the next agenda as multiple Real Madrid fringe stars in line to start against Real Sociedad as the manager Carlo Ancelotti will be looking to rest some of his most used players. We are also going to be bringing you a full update on that as we progress on this episode. So please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on notification bells so you do not miss on our daily Real Madrid update. It is only a matter of time before Kylian Mbappe will be presented as a Real Madrid player. The Frenchman will be leaving Paris Saint-Germain at the end of the season when his contract expires and all signs appoint toward the move to the Spanish capital. Multiple reliable sources have already confirmed that Mbappe will indeed be playing his trade at Real Madrid next season, with an announcement likely to take place after the UEFA Champions League final. Mbappe has made a name for himself as a deadly forward who can tear apart defenses from the left flank, however Vinicius Jr. already occupies that position at Real Madrid. As such, there have been questions about where the French superstar would play if he does indeed end up at the club as expected. Now according to Spanish publication RS, who has brought forward an update on the situation stating that it has already been decided that Mbappe will play as a number 9, the centre forward role for Real Madrid when he arrives. The French superstar is willing to accept the role of playing as a centre striker for most of the games with Los Blancos and is in fact seeing it as a challenge to succeed in that role. The explanation Kylian Mbappe has given to his trusted people is simple. If he plays as a number 9 in a team with Vinicius Jr, Rodrigo, Jude Bellingham and Brahim Diaz as ball feeders in the box, it will be very easy for him to increase his goal tally. Kylian Mbappe knows that being at Real Madrid will make it much easier for him to win the Champions League and the Ballon d'Or and if he also wins the Golden Boot, all the better for him. Playing as a 9 at Real Madrid, he can score a lot of goals, sources close to Mbappe has told RS. For starters, in both Paris Saint-Germain and the French national team, Kylian Mbappe has always opted to play on the left flank. By joining a team like Real Madrid, who have Vinicius Jr. capable of feeding a number 9, just like he did with his partnership with Karim Benzema who played as a perfect 9 for Real Madrid during the 2022 season, it will be interesting to see how Vinicius Jr. links up with Kylian Mbappe playing in as a 9. There is also Rodrigo goals, which must be admitted that his game gets even better when he plays with an experienced striker in front of him, as Real Madrid have often used him in the right flank. He is now having difficulties at Real Madrid at some point due to lack of continuity, as there has been no proper number 9 in front of him to help his game out. With Kylian Mbappe also playing as a number 9, it will come as a beneficiary to both Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo goals. The main beneficiary here, of course, will be Kylian Mbappe, who will benefit from the unselfish players sort of Jude Bellingham who knows how to feed a striker, Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo from the left and right and Brahim Diaz when he comes in as a substitute. Mbappe stands to gain more playing as a number 9 than even playing as a winger for Real Madrid as as we said earlier he takes his goal tally even higher up. He might even compete with the goal tally Cristiano Ronaldo has set in for the club. Understand that at some point at his career, Cristiano Ronaldo, who was known for his abilities of playing from the left flank, also had to niche down to the number 9 role, 
with he excelled exceptionally well with some star wingers including Garrett Bale, some incredible midfielders including Ozil and the likes of Kaká who fed him during his early days at Real Madrid. Although Karim Benzema was also a number 9 for Real Madrid during that period, Cristiano Ronaldo took on the spotlight and shined in that area, making Benzema to play as a number 10 role in some games. As a result of that, Cristiano Ronaldo made a big name for himself. Kylian Mbappe will be also making a statement if he has to excel in that particular position of the pitch. So how the situation evolves will be seen with recent updates expected in the coming months as to when he signs for the club. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as multiple Real Madrid fringe stars in line to start against Real Sociedad on Friday night. With a 3-2 win over Barcelona on Sunday night, Real Madrid have all but sealed the La Liga title. The Merengues are now 11 points clear of the Catalans with 6 games left to be played. Unless there is a dramatic nestle dive, Carlo Ancelotti and co will be crowned the champions of Spain in a month's time. Meanwhile, Real Madrid also have the threat of Bayern Munich looming in the Champions League semi-finals in the coming weeks. As such, Carlo Ancelotti plans to rotate his troops in the league, starting with this Friday's La Liga clash against Real Sociedad, reports Spanish publication AS. Indeed, as per the report, Ancelotti is set to hand minute to a number of his fringe players in the game to come, starting from the Real Sociedad encounter. Azagule, who has been staffed for minutes this season, is in contention to make his first start for Real Madrid in La Liga on Friday night. Meanwhile, Brahim Diaz, who has been a regular as a substitute, is also likely to be given the nod by Ancelotti in place of one of Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo Goals or Jude Bellingham. Veteran striker Joselu, who has not seen many minutes of late, could also be in line for a greater role in the league, starting from Friday night itself. Edel Militao, recently back from injury, is also in line to start, so that he can get into the rhythm, keeping an eye on the Bayern Munich clash. Dani Ceballos is another fringe player who is likely to benefit as Ancelotti will look to rest some of his midfield regulars like Toni Kroos, Luka Modric and Federico Valverde. Lastly, the report also suggests that forgotten goalkeeper Kepa Riza Balaga, who will return to Chelsea at the end of the season, might also start on Friday. The Spaniard has played exemplary professionalism and attitude since losing his place to Andre Lunin and even helped the Ukrainian during the penalty shootout win versus Manchester City. As such, he is likely to be rewarded with a start. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bells so you do not miss an on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.